our National Hard Enduro Series kicked off with the Tenderfield Terror, racing through 6,500 acres of spectacular terrain in northern New South Wales. For the prologue lap, we will be on board with Coxie, our silver-class Muppet. Circumstances forced a last-minute change, and the organisers had to quickly mark out a new natural terrain track for the prologue, with no technical sections, which suited the faster riders. Let's go down to the pits and join Coxie. Welcome to the start of the 2021 grassroots racing season. We're at the Tenterfield Terra this weekend. <laughs> The track starts with a series of jumps which had the gold class riders getting some pretty impressive air before rocketing into the first uphill section. Like me, Coxie isn't into speed so he just eases his way over the jumps. We heard later that Reuben Chadwick launched off one of these so fast he actually landed off the track and went bush. Ruben ended up with the second fastest lap time in gold class. This is Coxie's sighting lap, so he's just in cruise mode and checking out the track for the first time. It's a relatively easy fast track, but it's still easy to mess up on the off camber slopes. Tree roots, rocks and little logs can easily throw the bike offline and quite a few guys were seen trying to drag their bikes up onto the track again. Coxie is still riding his trusty old Gas Gas 300, the original Spanish bike, and not one of those new Austrian versions. I asked him if he'll update to the new Riehu brand, which is continuing the original Gas Gas design. Coxie isn't sure at the moment, there's a great range of two strokes available for hard enduro riders now, so he's spoiled for choice. We are coming up to an off camber log across the track. It was amazing to see the problems many riders had getting over this. Let's see how Foxy goes. Ha, huh, too easy. If you enter a hard enduro, it's worth learning some basic log hop techniques. At the very least, learn the punch and skid plate techniques from our training vids. It was interesting to see that even some silver class riders were struggling on that basic log. Overestimating your abilities and entering a higher class increases your chances of injury and also means you will probably be causing huge traffic jams as you get hung up on obstacles and block the track. These descents are trickier than they look. Braking forms a series of holes in the track, so the bike is constantly bouncing up and down under brakes. Another climb. There's a technical option up ahead, a fairly big log on the steep uphill. Let's see how Coxie goes. <laughs> ah, better luck next time, mate. Thinking of getting into hard enduro, or have you already started but keen to learn more? Check out Coxie's channel, Muppets Inc. He spent the past two years working his way from bronze to silver class and is sharing what he learns in the process. Hang around for his lap of the main racetrack too. 